Have you ever wanted to see if you could get a wire up in a tree using a golf ball and a tennis racket? Probably not, but I have, and let's try this. I'm gonna use a tennis racket um, and a golf ball and try to get a wire up into a tree. YouTube apparently has no videos about using a golf ball and a tennis racket to get a wire into a tree. The idea is to imbue the golf ball with a lot of potential energy from the tennis racket and make it go really, really high. Um, that's the theory. My local ham radio club has a gun, it looks like a spud gun, um, that uh, they use to shoot like a fishing line and a, some sort of a weight um, over a tree. Um, and then put, you pull the fishing line and the rope back and then you pull the rope up and you've got um, a wire up in a tree. I'm going to try to tie the string onto the golf ball by drilling a small hole into the golf ball and screwing in a screw eye. I'm going to tie on a brightly colored flag so I can see where the ball goes and where it is once it's stopped. The wire's on a spool over here, so hopefully when I get a string over the tree I can pull the wire up through the tree. Uh, we'll give it a shot and see what happens. Okay, so I'm out here in the yard. I'm going to try to send the golf ball up into the tree. Um, I tried it once just as a trial one and what I found out is that when it tries to pull on that string there's too much tension and the ball can't go very high. So I have strung string out all over the yard. Um, so hopefully when I send it up it'll just pull the string off the grass and not catch on leaves and grass and whatever to go in the tree. I have no idea if this is going to work, but let's give it a shot. Try not to hit it on the edge of the racket this time. Dang it. It would help if I was an athlete and somewhat coordinated. I was standing on it that time. That was really close. I need to get it to try to go over that way a little bit more so straight up. I want it to go that way. I'm going to try this one more time. Well, it's going to be more than one more time. I think I can live with that. A lot of friction there. Not as much weight in the golf ball as I think would be optimal. And I think there's a reason that people use fishing line instead of nylon cord to do this. Uh, right now I'm stuck. I think, uh, I think I may use fishing line. The string is still in the tree. Um, the golf ball's caught. I made another golf ball. I've attached it um, to a fishing reel. So hopefully I can open the bale. I can send that up. Fishing line will tend not to be as rough or get stuck on the trees. It'll tend to fly a little easier. If it's not working, I might just try to throw the golf ball. I, I don't know, we'll see what happens. It broke the fishing line. Oh, no, it took the end of the fishing line. wife, who always has better ideas than I do anyway, suggested I just try to throw it, so I, I think I might just try to throw it. How hard could this be? Let's try this. Well, it's in the neighbor's yard. Well, that didn't work as expected. Um, using the uh, golf ball and the tennis racket, I'm just, I've never been good at hand-eye coordination, so using the golf ball and the tennis racket, my biggest problem with that was I couldn't coordinate dropping the ball and hitting it with the racket in such a way that it went where I wanted it to. I could get it to go really high, but it was completely out of control. And uh, my wife suggested that why don't I just throw the golf ball up in the tree, which seemed to work pretty well. I'm doing this quite a while after the video you saw of me trying to get that antenna into the tree. It worked for a while, but then I inadvertently took down the wire trying to, to find a different way to hook it up to my ham radio. 
So I came up with the bright idea of just hooking the golf ball to the fishing pole. Um, the way I got my antenna in that tree a long time ago was to use a fishing weight and a fishing pole. Turns out this works even better. This, it might just be that I'm better at casting a fishing rod than I am at hitting something with a tennis racket. If you're a tennis racket person, do the tennis racket. If you're a fishing person, I would try this. This works so incredibly well because you get a lot of potential energy in the bend of the pole when you go back for the cast. And this, is, this thing is heavier than any fishing pole probably was ever intended to cast. And it flings. The first time it went over the top of the tree and over the high tension lines behind my house. I casted it and it went over my neighbor's yard into the next neighbor's uh, driveway. And I pulled that one back. And then finally by the third one, um, I threw this up, got it way up in the tree, higher than it was before. The wire is, is higher than it was. It's a better antenna than it was. And I'm very happy about that. So if you're bugging out or you're camping and you have a fishing pole anyway, why not just throw a golf ball with a, with a screw eye into your tackle box or into your ham radio bug out bag or whatever. I highly recommend it. It worked really well for me. Until next time, keep watching YouTube and keep trying things. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you'd like to become a patron on Patreon, please click the link in the description below. Join me on my Instagram at Let's Try This TV.